Hey everyone, it's Melinda with Tailored and Teal. I am a part-time online reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay. And I know I've said this numerous times in other videos, but I love selling belts. And my belt inventory is only to about five or six belts, which for me is not a lot. So I have been shopping on shopgoodwill.com, bidding on belt lots. I recently just won two lots and we're going to unbox one of them today. This is a 9.6 pound of women's assorted bulk fashion belts. And let's get into it. So again, this is 9.6 pounds of women's fashion belts. This came from Jennings, Missouri. I paid a total of $34.33 and there was only a penny in shipping. So basically my bid is whatever one and then taxes and fees and things like that. It shipped the next day, so it came very, very fast. And I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek. I did open it just because I had a few different shop goodwill orders coming in and i wanted to make sure that this was the correct one so here we go it says it's 9.6 pounds but it actually feels more than nine pounds and i will tell you right on top i did look through just just the top of it so i know some things but not all and these are not belts they are actually necklaces which is fine because i will sell them for sure Okay, so here is this one, and this is a mag, oh, I'm sorry, there's two here. Oh, they were sticking together with the magnet. <laughs> okay, so we have this one, got some like metallic-y bits to it, and then we have this one. It's more of a lighter blue and some white in there too, and they are both magnetic closures, which is kind of cool. And they're at different lengths, so you can kind of almost wear them together. And then there's this one, that totally reminds me of a peacock feather, but this one does not have a magnetic closure. It is just um, just tied up here. You can't even move it or anything, but I do love all of the colors. And you could probably wear all three of these together if you really wanted to. I probably will sell them as a lot because they kind of do go together. So it would look something like that. No problem, I do not mind selling necklaces. Next up is this green kind of reptile leather belt. I believe it's leather. It says uh, polyurethane upper bonded leather filler, polyurethane ooze. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that, but it says ooze. Um, there is some like, wear and scratching and almost like peeling off of the polyurethane but the rest of the belt is in fantastic condition there's a little bit of wear you know where whoever owned this before definitely used some of the holes but the buckle's in really good condition so as long as this isn't like peeling you can see that it's kind of cracking i'll still sell it i don't know what the brand is though but that's okay Next up is also not a belt. So this one is a white faux pearl cluster thing. Let me see if it is actually a belt. So it's got, no, it's not a belt. It has these loops at the bottom. It almost reminds me of like an eyeglass holder, like one that you would put on over your neck and you'd put your eyeglasses in these holes, but the holes are too big. I suppose that you could string it through like this, but then you just have like a long piece dangling in front of you. So I'll have to do some research. I don't know, Google image search. If you know what this is or these are, I have another one. There's a pink one here too. Um, let me know because I am not familiar with this contraption, but I do enjoy the baby pink color. We'll probably have some tangles, so I might have to pause every once in a while to get them untangled. All right, here is a uh, plastic belt, but it definitely is made to look like it is stone of some sort, but it is just all plastic and it's on this cord. Then there are some beads at the end too. So this is cool. I don't see any brandings or anything. Next up, we have this belt. 
like we are missing one stone, but it might be at the bottom of the box because they put no protection in this, like no bubble wrap or anything. So it might actually be at the bottom, but I really like all of the details here. These are all just sequins and little seed beads. And then you have this um, kind of feels like a glass bead possibly. And then on the back, I think this is just a faux suede lining. And then there is a snap closure back here. It says it's a size medium, uh, made in India, 100% cotton except trims, and the lining is PVC. Oh, on the back it says, minor differences in each product enhances its beauty and uniqueness. It's kind of like a fortune cookie almost. Hopefully that little jewel is at the bottom of the box. If not, I have tons of craft jewelry that I'm sure I can find something that would work. All right, here is a very stretchy and very loud sounding belt. So it has all of these gold tone discs. It is on an elastic piece of fabric. And someone wanted $2 for this somewhere, probably at a yard sale. I don't see any markings or anything. Man, it is loud, but it is very pretty. Next up we have, oh. <laughs> I literally thought this was just a cord, but it kind of does look like it. Okay, it has this it has this as the buckle or whatever this is. And then it says www.humanityforall.com. Plant peace, live in unity, freedom, make a difference, accept diversity, speak kindness, pave the path, lead the way, humanity, give back, seek wisdom, come together, truth, forgive, believe, faith, so love, humanity, make a difference. That's what the entire belt says. <laughs> it's very, very thin. It does feel like real leather. That's what it looks like on the back. And then, yeah, I guess you would just put it through here and kind of like weave it through the buckle. I'll have to look up that website and see if they have any more information about it, but cool. All right, next is just a silver tone chain belt, but it does have this cute little tassel here with little balls at the bottom. It seems to be in really great condition. And then it has just one of these like keychain clips or whatever you call these closures. And it just clips on, clips on the loop like that. Next up is a very light gold tone metal link belt. And then the closure is this beautiful enamel flower with a rhinestone in between. And then the other side of it is a little one. And then I think because there's hooks on the back of both of them, I think you can like hook them on any and then either have the flower dangle down or you can hook it on another one to kind of have it lined up like that. This is really cute. Oh, and I just noticed there's rhinestones near the front too. Just kidding, it's on all of them. It's just every other one. And then it just goes to a normal pattern, but very cool. I love this flower. Next up is a icky feeling fabric belt. And I can't tell if it's supposed to be this like ivory yellow color or if it's just old. Um, there is a tag, let me see. It says 100% polyester, made in China, size eight. Oh, and then on the back it says remove belt before washing. So this was attached to something at some point, uh, but it is braided and it is like a fabric material. Then we have this crazy one. This is a bunch of hearts. Lots of heart dangles. Now there are quite a few keywords that you can use for this type of belt. Number one is belly dance or belly dancer because they have, you know, the charms and they jingle and when the person shakes, you'll hear it. Or you can also call it a cha-cha belt. You can also use the keyword for bracelets that make sound as a cha-cha bracelet because people are gonna know that you're coming. So it looks like this is the largest heart here and then they kind of range in size. 
Some are hollow, some are just outlines. Very, very pretty and in great condition. And then it has a very large lobster claw closure right there. And I don't see any brandings on it. I really like this one. Next up, we have a super blinged out one. Wow. This would be really nice as like a wedding belt to add like as an accent on the wedding dress. So it does look like all of the rhinestones are there, surprisingly, in a box that had no protection. And the rest of the belt is this very flexible, but also very lightweight metal. It's very interesting. And then there's a little ball at the end. I really like this bling though. Next up is a gold tone chain belt. I might be able to find brands later on, you know, if I look closely, but I don't see any markings right now. And there are these big ovals, that's probably the back, and then more ovals over here. And then this one has a tiny lobster claw closure, which doesn't seem to go on there. Oh no, it comes down here further. Here we go. Here is another gold tone belt. Ooh, something I just touched is kind of sticky. Oh, look at that. Bling, bling in. Except they're not on there very well. They're kind of like a little bit crooked in spots. Nothing on the back. And then the rest of it is this like mini ball belt, chain, whatever you want to call this. And then I think you can just put this hook through, yeah, basically any of the spaces and the gaps. This needs a really good cleaning because it feels a little grimy. We have another very, very lightweight feeling gold tone belt. This feels like it's made out of aluminum or something. Okay, I had to untwist it. So it has these rings that kind of move around up here. So I'm assuming that would be the front, I would think because the only other thing is here that you clip onto, here's a hook, and then you clip onto that, and then you just have a ring hanging down. Unless something is missing from it, but I would definitely wear this in the front. Ooh, here is a Brighton looking belt. I don't think that it is though. Uh, there is a little tag here says M, I'm assuming for medium. And then it is a silver tone belt with a little bit of wear to it. Oh no, that's just the reflection from my ring light. And it has these um, almost Celtic, Irish looking stations in between. And then it's like a rope chain in the back. This totally looks like a Brighton piece, but it doesn't have a B on it at all. Um, and then this is where you would clasp it over here, just like that. Very nice. Next is another gold tone chain belt. This one does have some wear to it. Some of the gold tone is actually coming off of it. It is very grimy, it needs a bath for sure. And then there is the hook. Oh yeah, look at the, look at the wear on there, yuck. Next up, I see something is missing off of this one already, but I actually see it right at the bottom of the box. I found it at the bottom of the box, so I will just use some E6000. It is an industrial, really strong glue, so that should go on there no problem. This is a concho style belt. So anytime you have these like large kind of looking medallions, that's what a concho belt is. There's definitely some wear on this, but I think it adds to kind of the character of it. I think that this is just faux leather in between. So there's one missing. Oh, just kidding, we're missing two. So maybe the other one is also down there. But yeah, this has a lot of wear. Uh, I'll clean it up and see if it's worth saving. Ooh, this one's kind of interesting. So it has all of these like embossed textured rings. And it does say something on it, but it does just say made in China. 
This seems to be in good condition. And then it's also a very large lobster or lanyard clip, whatever you want to call that closure. We have, what is this? Oh my goodness, I see bugs. That is so cute. Okay, this is adorable. They're little ladybugs or beetles or something like that, but they have spots on them. So that's why I think that they're ladybugs. The top of the spikes are silver tone and the rest of it is gold tone. So I think that that is meant to be and it's not wear. This is on a very um, dirty belt. Let me see if there are any markings. You know, you could probably actually just take these off and then put it on any belt that you want because this comes off pretty easily. And this belt is just, it's not great. It's real dirty. But I absolutely love this closure. And they are marked inside. Let me see if I can get this belt off. I just unlooped it and it came off real easy. So up at the top, it says 1975. You probably can't see that at all. And then um, if you flip it over, it says Mimi. And then if you flip it over again on the other side, it says N and then a space IP. Interesting. I'm excited to look this up. These are so cute. Ooh, I was not expecting the feeling of that. So here we have some flowers, metal. There is some branding or some letters on the back. And then this is like a stretchy um, metal belt. It's actually kind of like a coil. There's a space right here, but I don't know if that's supposed to be like that or if it just got bent. But you know, when wearing it, you can't really tell. And then over here is this closure. And then you just hook it right on there. You got yourself a little daisy belt. Whoa, I thought this was a triangle at first, you know, like a triangle that you play in band. This is crazy. This is really cool though. This have a little bit of wear to it, but I think I can just clean it up and it should be okay. And it does have a very large clip closure to hold all this in because this is kind of heavy. This I think is broken. Maybe the rest of it's in here, but it's got these hammered rounds. Let me see if the rest of it's in here. All right, I got it. It looks like it just needs to be hooked together. And actually all of these links are held together by this little doohickey here. So all I have to do is just clip it into place. Oh, yep, I got it. Perfect, okay. So we have hammered circles with other circles in between those, no brandings or markings. And then it has, again, the like lanyard keychain clip, whatever you want to call this closure. Next up is a beaded belt. There is a hair on this one. And these all feel like glass. This one has, eh, it's not really Millefiori, but it's got some flower looking things on it. Actually, it might be hand painted. Oh no, that's Millefiori right there. And ooh, I like this speckled one. These are cool. And it does feel like it's just um, a cord, like a fabric cord. It doesn't feel like leather or anything. Then you have some dangles at the bottom. And this is one that you would just tie together essentially. Next up, another gold tone chain belt. I can't tell if this is dirty or if there's wear. I think there is a bit of wear to it, but I will certainly clean up all of these belts just to make sure. Oh yeah, there is a lot of wear. Look at that copper coming through. Wow. And this is by the brand Chico's. Next up, we have this very heavy belt. This is very substantial. Square links and then you have a longer part that wraps around the back of your waist. There is a little like pattern at the end of this but it doesn't seem to be a logo or anything like that. And nice. I don't see any markings but this is pretty heavy. 
And the good thing about belts is even if it doesn't have a size, all you have to do is measure it and put that in your title and your listing. Most people know what their belt size or their pant size are at least. And if not, they can just take a measuring tape and see if it would fit essentially. Next up, I did see a marking on this one. It says NY, which I think might be New York and Company. At least that's what it kind of reminds me of. And this one feels kind of like a pewter. I don't think that it is, but that's kind of the vibe I get from it. And it's all of these rectangle segments. There is, again, the same kind of hook. And then over here is where you hook it on. We have just a very plain chain belt. This closure has seen better days. I probably won't do anything to this one. It'll probably just go into a jewelry crafting lot. This one is also a plain chain, but this one's in a lot better condition as the other one is, and it doesn't feel as um, like aluminum and kind of cheapy. So this is a curb chain belt. Good condition, no markings, and the large lobster claw closure. We have another geometric chain belt, circles and rectangles. And there is the extender part, again with this type of closure. Next up has a tassel on it. So it's a tiny curb chain that connects these ovals together. It looks like this is another New York and Company, possibly. That has that large lobster claw closure. And then this is what dangles down in front or to the side. And you have a very cool accent tassel belt. I just found the second blue cabochon that was missing from that one uh, concho style belt. So I will glue that back on. This one ooh, has some bling on it, but it's all kind of wrapped up. So let me see. All right. So I think it's kind of like multi-chain layered looking at the front. There's your closure and then there are four strands, I'm sorry, five strands that go around the back. And this is what loops down, I guess. You have a long tassel here too. Here is another curb chain belt. And then the other end of it is the same type of closure and you just kind of clip them in each other. And then there you have your buckle, so to speak. But the thing I don't understand is that you see how it's like really long down here. So would this hang in the back or the front or could this possibly be a necklace of some sort? Hmm. For a lot of these chain belts that I don't really know how they go, I will most likely model them on my half mannequin that I have. It's literally just a half cut of a plastic mannequin that you hang in the wall and that'll give me a better idea of how these types of belts fit. We have a gunmetal gray colored one with all of these little circles and like little barbells in between. This one also has the large lobster claw closure, no brandings. Have another gunmetal chain. Same thing. This one has kind of a knot in it. I'm not gonna take it out, but same closure. Well, actually this one has two of the same, so it probably can be, you know, adjustable to fit the person. And then the last belt in the box is another gold tone chain. This is, is this a Byzantine chain? I forget. A lot of these chains are very similar to what come in necklaces and bracelets. So I'm basically just going off of the knowledge I already know. And this is in really nice condition and it does have the double like modern lobster claw closure. Really cool. I didn't find that black bead or a black faceted rhinestone that we were missing on one of the earlier belts. But again, we were able to find both of the, just dropped that one. So both of the blue ones I'll be able to put on with glue. And overall, I was pretty happy with this box. I'm probably going to donate maybe two or three of them, but the rest of them are 
great and I might even lot some of the similar ones up so people can have some variety when they're dressing up all of their fancy clothing or wherever they're wearing these belts to. I do have another belt box on the way, very similar to this one, but that one looked like it had more Southwest type of belts and that one was 18 pounds, so it's double this one. So stay tuned for that video coming soon. As always, I appreciate you watching and tuning in and I will see you in the next one. Bye.